feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you come Welcome go. back to another track vlog Stop. We're here Kentucky's Hi. here uh, Great day in uh, Eugene, Oregon I know that it's been a minute since you guys have, you know See me on the vlog. We're headed over to the track to do a quick little shakeout slash practice. We competed in two days. We've been here for two days already, but um, I've just been getting adjusted to the time zone, things like that, and we haven't really done anything. So I'm taking you guys along on this journey with me through NCAAs. Hope you guys enjoy, and like, comment, and subscribe as always. And we'll catch y'all at Hayward, at the best track in the United States. Good morning, Lorraine. <laughs> so we're outside of the track at the practice field, getting ready to do a little shakeout slash warm up, whatever we have going on. But I'm about to throw my shoes on and get ready so that we can get the rest of this day off from the track before we know we go into this battle. So yeah. Okay guys, so back from the track, we just got um, our bib numbers, our credential for the weekend, and then they just gave us all these shirts, national shirts, you know. Might do a little giveaway with those. Girl is about to head over to Whole Foods so that I could get some, you know, good food, some, some healthy snacks, things like that. This is my view from my hotel. Oh, I gotta pee, y'all. Yeah, this is the view of Oregon. Nothing really crazy to see, but our hotel is so nice. I would do a hotel tour, but I already done dirtied it up. It's really homey. We all have our own rooms. This is what it's giving. Ooh, ooh, 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to walk over to Whole Foods. So I'm gonna catch you guys when I get back because my camera is about to die. Um, also, I have a massage at 4.30 and that's an hour. So then I'm gonna talk to you after that. Okay, bye. Okay, vlog, that's it for the night. I do not compete tomorrow. So I'm just going to be chilling pretty much all day. Um, it's like... 7 28 but it's really 10 30 back at home so i'm just really chilling laying down you know just really barbing you know not doing much i figured out how to do a new um thing on my camera so that i can probably get content not probably but i can now get content on my phone so just to say if i need to like edit a video super quick or just want to post something like really fast i can definitely edit it from my phone now super excited about that and yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow because as you can see i'm very monotone and it's really just time for me to just chill for the rest of the night so i'll catch you guys tomorrow and yeah good morning guys it's day what three guys oh skin skin is skinny. 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 i'm looking tired so graphics plate breakfast <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh, hey, we <laughs> we're going to we're going to have some food. <laughs> so, um, so we're heading over to Glenwood. It's this restaurant that me and actually I think one of my friends from the Oregon Track team put me on to last year, and we went like two times last year. With me and Paper here, so bring in the girlies um, because I'm tired of eating like little skimp stuff. Especially if we don't gotta go to the track today, so we can actually chill, you know, do whatever we need to do. And yeah, so I'm gonna catch y'all once we get there. I slept good. My room was not cold as it should have been. I was sweating last night. I yeah, was I was low key high. What was your what was your AC on? Like 66. Yeah, I could have sworn I put mine like 68, 67, and it still was not that high. But mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys once we're here. Our Uber driver literally cannot understand. He is Spanish as hell. <laughs> Spanish as hell. And I wish that I actually paid attention in um, my Spanish class. Just you know, just so that you can say the basics. But honestly, with Google Translate, hey, you don't even need that. And I'm Spanish, and I don't know a lick. <laughs> Do you not understand it a little? When my dad's talking, because I've been used to being around. Yeah, here. but we'll catch y'all later. Over and out. This is the restaurant that we're at. It's called Glenwood, and their menu is huge. I think I really liked their omelets from last time, so I'll probably just do an omelet since um, I haven't ate, and it comes with like potatoes, I'm pretty sure. So, what are you feeling today? Um, I think I'm strawberry lemonade because I know I always have to have something pink. <laughs> <laughs> Probably an omelet too, or like French toast. Oh yeah, French toast sound good. Miss Ma'am already ate, but she told us so she can eat again. Knowing that, knowing that she eats <laughs> two bites and be full. I'm getting more. <laughs> <laughs> so breakfast was good. We um we're just walking around and we found this bead place. We're trying to make some waist beads. You know, it's like literally 11:22 in the morning, but it doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't at all. So we're just measuring Rima's waist so that she can get the proper measurement. It says 26. 26. Should I get two or three for waist? Two. This little waist for me. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, so don't mind me while I <laughs> write down some numbers. So yeah, you could actually I just have to throw the girl this way. Okay. Dumb self shouldn't be so, done. We're just it's saying, like, we're saying, Megan, like, you in the vlog. Oh, oh my okay. waist is twenty six and a half. Yeah. What's your opinion? Um, I don't know. Hold it right here. My hands are cold. Let's let's keep it together. Right? You gotta. Uh, Wait, it is not at your belly button. Oh, here we go. Twenty nine. Yo, way smaller than mine, mm -hmm. man. So you look at that butt. <laughs> Where you niggas gonna sit? <laughs> <laughs> um, but breakfast was really good. We're in this nice bee place. Um, trying to get some waist bees done. I'm trying to get a waist bee made when I go to Jamaica. So. 
I'm just looking up some ideas so yeah, you probably, because you know, it's you about to add, give baby. You this and then add a few. Oh, look at my friends. Yeah. Add some of those. Yeah. All black, yellow, and green. I just feel lazy. <laughs> I don't know how. Okay. Okay, okay guys. So, so the two that I'm doing are these two. Okay, I decided I'll do these. Two. These two mixed yeah. together. These two with the charms, and then the anklet like, like this, and then the waist. And then Ooh, you, you are going to be busy. just okay. Yeah. This one by itself. So what it's, I did it's here, like neutral is, is basic, and it'll like balance it out. Okay, vlog. So we completed our waist. I said our waist. Our waist beads. Um, I got some butterflies on my pink and silver, and Megan made this cute one. Rayma's in her bag, and we had to rush out because she had an emergency. <laughs> Rayma always has something going on, y'all. It's not Rayma if she don't got something going on. <laughs> no, but for real. But I'm gonna make um, a couple more with these colors in here. I should do this pink and a uh, little blue is cute too. I don't got like one, two, and an anklet. Oh and yeah, and she made an anklet. Super cute. cute. What? At the price of one waist bead, I know that's right. But yeah, we headed back to the hotel to just chill. Like to go in Apple. It's not a force for one. Um, decided to watch Moana for the first time. I know you watch your first visit of the Yeah, we'll see. Because I'm yawning. <laughs> we'll catch y'all when we get back. What's up, vlog? It's been a minute since I checked in with you guys, but your girl has just been chilling, just been watching the me, and really just, you know, getting my mind right for tomorrow. So that you guys can see, like, the mountains over there. Like, beautiful sunset. You can see the mountains, like, all across the tree line. And yeah, it's just like a really beautiful day out. I really hope that we get the same weather tomorrow. Ooh, hella zoomed in. But yeah, y'all. I'm not doing nothing. I just literally ordered some dinner. We just finished watching the meat, like I said. And we're just chilling because we have a big day tomorrow. We have a lot to prove, a lot to do. And that's just that on that. My mom was supposed to come today, but her flight like was all messed up. So she's not coming till tomorrow at like one o'clock. And it's just been a whole bunch of craziness. But we're gonna stay focused, we're gonna stay locked in, and we are going to control what we can control. Um, I'm gonna check in with you guys tomorrow. Because I'm not doing nothing for the rest of the night. I'm gonna get in bed pretty early. Um, continuing to hydrate as always. And that's just that on it. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Get a good night's rest. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just had to throw that in there because my mom always tells me I need to throw it in there. So y'all do that. But yeah. Good morning, my loves. It is race day. It is Thursday. It is day four that we've been here. Um, I literally just woke up, which is why I sound like this. I just finished my skincare routine. I'm gonna do a separate video on that, um, just so that it could be like more in depth because I don't really do too much when I'm traveling since I don't want to bring too many products. Um, brush my teeth, like I said, wash my face, um, put moisturizer on my lips, things like that. I'm about to start hydrating. I'm gonna lay back down for just a second so that, you know, once I get up, it's going to be ready to be up for the day um and i'm not quite ready to get up yet and it's kind of early it's only 8 12 um so yeah i'll catch you guys when i get up but it is race day um i feel really good little jitters you know the basics and my mom her flight got all messed up last night so she's actually in denver right now and she'll land in eugene um today at one o'clock she was supposed to get her yesterday, like insane, but it is what it is, things happen, and like I always say, control what you can control, um, but I will catch you guys once I'm actually ready and up for the day, so that you guys can see what I ate for breakfast, shake out, things like that, and then I'll catch you guys after that. Okay guys, so I literally just got back from my shake out, and my breakfast is here, but at the breakfast spot, they did not have any avocados with like the meal that I was trying to get like on DoorDash. It just doesn't give you the full menu. So I took it upon myself to get a um to get to get a a baby avocado. Hold on. And. I'm going to cut it because I need to eat it with my breakfast. Oh, shoot. I thought I messed it up. 
And this better be a good avocado. I ordered this on DoorDash, so you know sometimes when people be playing. Mm, it'll do. It's not super green, but it'll do. But yeah. Get your greens, y'all. <laughs> like I said, just finished my shakeout. Just went for a little five minute jog, some stretching, some leg swings, things like that. Um, I'm about to eat this breakfast. And then I'm going to shower and I'm going to chill. Probably watch the rest of Princess and the Frog. Because I started watching that movie yesterday and it's really good. And my skin looks great, period. I just had a skincare routine. So if I post that, y'all see that prior to this video. And yeah. Go check out my Instagram. If y'all haven't already checked it out, I posted a picture. Check me out. Now or never. Meet day ready. War ready. Let's go. Yeah. Anyways, I'm about to eat. I'm about to chill. I'm about to go on my ride. So I'll talk to y'all when I talk to y'all. Your girl is ready to get ready. It's about that time. Um, I took me a quick little nap. 30, 45 minutes, you know. Nothing too crazy. Um, really starting to feel it a little bit, you know, just ready to get it over with. I don't have any doubts in my mind about my ability or what I can do. But this is what people really don't talk about when it comes to like the mental aspect of track and field. Um, most of the time, any athlete can do anything that they they can do so much more than they're producing out there on the track because they let their mind get in the way of what they know they can do. So if you're here watching, I'm just here to tell you, this is the behind the scenes, raw, you know, hearts beating a little bit, a little anxious, a little nervous, but it's all good. I've been here before. It's nothing that I haven't done. It's gonna be 10 seconds, 12 seconds, in 50 something seconds of my life and I'm going to be done period and we're going to do great the team's going to do great today a lot of things have been in the way of us up until this point so I know that we're going to do some great things and it's time to put this sh time to put this shit together because this is what we've been working hard for all year so I'm about to get my face ready but the ladies edges and we're about to get into it and just like that the girl is ready to go to the track. We leave in 10 minutes. And I don't know why it looks like this. I hope that it's not in slow-mo. And ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to introduce you to the first slide of the women's javelin. The way first, two-time big 10 runner up from Penn State, Madison Smith. Number two in the order, third player Nebraska, Eric Kalusi. Door number five, six. What's up, you guys? I know it's been a minute since you guys have seen me last. Um, yesterday, I had to search all around the whole city of Eugene to find an SD card because I'm like, if I started this vlog, I'm going to finish this vlog. And I'm not just going to, you know, take advantage of what I... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. But my braids is still looking good. It is finals day, you guys. So I knew I had to find my SD card before this. Yesterday was the off day. It's like a day in between. So it's like women. So it's men, women, uh, men, women. Um, so we had an off day. Um, it really wasn't much to see. So I'm kind of glad that I did run out of storage when it happened. I'm glad I wasn't like at the track or nothing important. If you guys didn't know, I made it to the finals in every single one of my events. 4x1, 100 hurdles, and 4 by, and 400 hurdles. And I'm super excited. I'm a little anxious, a little nervous, but you know, it comes with it. It comes with the sport. It's like if you're not feeling nothing going on, then it's time for you to be done with the sport. That's what my coach always says. So, with all that being said, we're about to head to the track in like 20 minutes. Um, and I'm not really doing anything. Um, I'm just gonna be. I'm not even going to tell you guys I'm going to record because every single thing is like back to back to back to back. Like, it's literally no time for me to even breathe. So, as soon as I'm done one event, I got to go get ready to check in and run a, um, run my next event. So, I'm going to catch you guys probably once I'm done, once I have all my trophies, once it's all over and I can just really breathe and just thank the Lord that it's over and I'm, you know, come out really with a really successful outcome. And 
that's just that on that. Wish me the best of luck. Pray for me. I hope you guys have already prayed for me up at this point. I appreciate everyone's support. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe. Keep tuning in. Keep joining. Because we're going up. We're only going up from here. And that's just that on that. Let's get into this face real quick. Just y'all can see it. You know, it ain't nothing crazy. She just said, no, she had my hop up out of landing. But yeah. Edges laid. It's supposed to be raining today. It's supposed to be real nasty, yo. But it's about who wants it more. It's about who who really wants it. You know, I really want it. I've been putting in so much work. I've been I've been waiting for this moment to show the world who Masai really is. And I can't wait for the outcome. I'll see you guys later. I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll check in with y'all once we get our team trophy. Once I get my trophies. And once we do our thing. Period. So your girl got her three trophies. Like I said, I got second in the four by one. Um, I got third in the 100 hurdles and fourth in the 400 hurdles. I didn't quite do what I wanted to do. Like I said, I didn't quite win. But, you know, it's always a blessing to walk out healthy. It's always a blessing to run on alongside of some of the best runners in the country. And I put 14 points up on the board for my team, so I'm blessed about that. But I'll see y'all at USA's. I hope y'all really enjoyed this vlog. Love y'all.